You're listening to Truly Unruly with Marcus and Jessica Trufant. We're back. What's up, True Fonts? How we doing? Hey, 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 We're hey, good. hey. What up? How are you? I'm good. Truly good. and Ruly, we are on episode number nine. Yeah. This is this is good. We've been yeah. doing we've been consistent, guys. Yeah, totally. Yeah. How was the week? Last week? I, yeah, I guess. Well, since the last time I saw you guys, how's things how have things been? I don't know. Good. Yeah. Same shit, different. Yeah, it's all toilet. starting to run together. Which I don't know is uh stressful but relaxing at the same time when you can be lazy within that uh yeah molding together of s- stuff <laughs> yeah so since the last time i saw you guys um i didn't i don't think i've asked this last episode i like to revisit this every mm, couple weeks yeah you, um, do. <laughs> you know where i'm going with this yeah. jess love language mm-hmm. how has it been has it gotten better has it gotten more consistent has it has it become more, uh, you just know weekly, like, hey, I, sh- I need to maybe... The only thing when you talk about love language, the only thing I associate it with is sex. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Why are you so, so filth it- of the mind? Why are you like that? First of all, I can't even get dressed upstairs without you drooling like the, f- the freaking wolf on... Uh, the old cartoons and stuff. So please stop. So we talked about this a Spare couple me. shows ago. Thirst versus uh, genuine appreciation for your lady. Well, what's what's the? Is that well, a bad I, thing? No, it's not bad at all. I've, bad. I've always have heard women, not all women, but I've heard a lot of women say, "Well, every man's love language is sex." Yeah, that's not. Um, Am I lying? Are I we mean, lying? Sex is a part of it yeah, now. Don't, our don't physical lying. touch is definitely part don't of it. Don't get me but wrong. Like, but we're, we have more dimensions than I'm just. learning no, no, to no, communicate. No, 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 not physical touch. It's more than physical touch. <laughs> I'm learning to communicate, I think. Yeah, it goes beyond that. It's in yeah, touch. <laughs> well, 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 very true. Very true. Listen, <laughs> you should be very happy. That your husband I am. is as attracted to you I am. as he is. I am, because when you take all these clippings out and you swipe off this makeup, mm. it's, still. it's questionable. It's questionable. See, I don't like this. I know this is your wife. But I hate when women talk like that. So do I. When it's just like you just don't but appreciate the, like your natural beauty, like you're a beautiful woman. Like, but you know what? Like, I mean, it's not their fault, Kale. It's the it's society, by design. right? The the pressures of society and everything that comes with it as far as women that they don't get a fair shake. In we that. sure don't. Yeah, yeah, so I get that. You guys can be have D cup titties and stuff, and still be like, I can look oh, like this, and it's okay. After. Like, yeah. And D yeah, cup no. titties. <laughs> we don't we don't have that luxury. Ah. Well, I know I, some women like chubby guys. That you know what that goes back to? We can go back in history real quick. That goes back to like the Anglo Saxon days of kings because it was the thing of yes. the, the fatter you were, the that means the, the wealth right. wealthier you are, the better off you the are. The healthier right. so, you are, yeah. Right. That's a thing that's been passed down, I think, like, just I, I don't know if that millennia. Came, I, I don't know if that came down. But gen- I don't know. There, that, there, there are women there are women that like Fetish. chubby dudes and like... like, like Everybody well, got a versa. thing. Everybody got a thing. Right. So... What? So how did we get on? We I don't know. We, I'm not sure. Well, how right. did we get on D-cup titties? Because you said that there's women out here that like men with D-cup titties and men can get away with that, but there's women that can't get away with... And and and, and guts and, a, you know, like a, a belly, but heaven forbid a woman that has had five kids has a belly. But her man, her oh, man... Oh, look at her. But just her man probably don't care. He loved that. He's like, you know, my woman, she carried my babies. Yeah, you know, that's, that's my wife. But that's part of the problem because he will let me get up to 300 to doctor now status, like 600, my 600 pound life. And he'd still be like, oh girl, you're doing it. Love um, is a beautiful no, thing. Isn't isn't it? Good? Love is a beautiful thing. man. But to not appreciate it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You're a good dude, bro. I appreciate it. I do. I do. I appreciate it. And that's why, 
you know, his love language gets filled. Damn right. Okay, so what a love language just <laughs> met this week. We, never, we didn't answer the question. Yeah, we didn't answer the question. Well, um, I felt like, uh, yeah, and I'm, I'm uh, broadening my love language horizon. Like Jess said, most guys, it's about sex. It's not always about sex. I, no. During these COVID times, our communication is growing a little bit. We, we spend more time face-to-face kind of stuck in the house, et cetera, et cetera. So, you know, I, I, feel, like we're, I feel like we're growing on that side. <laughs> yeah, you know guy, what I'm saying? My guy just said it. Yeah, my guy just said it in a nice way. Well, I'm stuck with you, so I've got to get you I, I don't have a choice, so I, I, better, talk yeah, to you. I better enjoy it. I better find a way to enjoy it. Right. So. Yeah, no. We have some great, we've had some great conversations during COVID, some deep ones. I mean, when you guys told me that you got how you when you guys like first like really started talking serious and like how you guys sat and just talked for hours. Yeah, I think that's that's something that's always you know yes. been there with you guys. Right. Yes, and that's what we do. We talk. We yeah. talk. No, that's dope. That's friends. I think that's how you get the longevity too. After the kids go and after this and that, when it's just us and everything else is uh gone we still got to be able to enjoy each other so yeah. now how did marriage change that part of your relationship mm. well for me marriage uh just meant being a little bit more responsible gotcha <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Why are you looking like why that? You why why, so why you get the, <laughs> the fake smile and being more responsible, being more aware of your partner because there's a official title there. And maybe that's pressure from the outside, maybe that's pressure from the wife. But um just know that you've taken another step. So you not that you have to act accordingly, but there's there's Something that comes with it mm-hmm. when you say you're married. I think you, you have to start thinking outside of yourself and start thinking right. um, as a team. Right, right. that's right. what changed. So. We had to think, we had to learn how to think as like one, right. Right. as a team and communicate more and- it Took you know, me a while. Yeah. Oh, oh. As a late bloomer. I thought we, well. I think we talked about this in like one of the first episodes yeah. about training Men like it's, it's, it's not like puppy. It's not training men. It's just helping them grow to become the best possible person they can <laughs> like be. That. Oh, Damn. so we don't train? We don't no, train? you don't train no. anybody. Okay, uh, okay, pur- okay, okay. Yes, you know <laughs> as well as I know the purpose of a relationship <laughs> is to learn about yourself and learn about people. Absolutely. Right? So, and we are both and, students of marriage. Both students of marriage. Trying to. Pro- trying to um, Survive? No, trying to harness and feed good habits. Yeah, because you're trying to evolve. Yeah. That's thing. You don't ever want to change somebody, right? Yeah, because no. yeah. that, that's not the person yeah. you found. You can't. With. You yeah, want yeah. them. You want to evolve. You want them to evolve to be the best possible person that they right. can be. Right. Yeah. You don't. They have to have. Well, I don't think I could change him. That's the thing. He had it down inside all along. I can't right. change him. You help bring it out. Right. Right. Bring him up, bring him up. Yeah, I did that's that. A, that's a, no, that, and that's the role of a supportive, significant other. Right. Yeah. And vice versa. Right. Absolutely. Hello. So how would you, what would you say, Jess? Um, the same thing, like what yes. changed the marriage? Was it just communication? Yes, the communication and learning how to, like I said, connect as one. Right. And uh, be together and like really put those building blocks together to be where we are today. So right. that was, yeah. And you learn each other over time. Um, yeah. And you think you know your spouse. We didn't know each other when we first got married. Early on. Uh, but okay. it's, there's a lot that goes with it. And you think you know yourself as far as what you need and what's going to make you tick and what's going to make you be okay, but you really don't know. It changes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It is yeah. forever a, evolving. Mm-hmm. It's always changing so we're just trying to keep up so here's the question i want to ask you guys how do you guys feel about prenups hmm jess uh well i guess i'll answer that i got to be the guy to answer it <laughs> prenups aren't bad i think they're just a choice they're just a preference if you like them and you like them um if you don't 
then you don't. And maybe you like them in the beginning, then you grow together, you might not feel like you need them. Or if you're in a state like Washington, about us? or if you're in a state like Washington, it really doesn't matter if you have a prenup or right. not, if you're together up. for long enough. So um, for some people, Hollywood, you talk about Dr. Dre and people like that that are California going California has through, some yeah, it, up it, marriage laws. It let could me be tell a you. thing. What? It could be a thing. So, but I know for us, um, it's it's uh, they're kind of up in the air. Jessica, what do you think? What what's kind of up in the air? I had to sign one. I know, but are you for it or are you against it? I mean, I wasn't for it. I was like offended. Why? But. At the same time, I was like, all right, cool. Let me get my lawyer. Let's get this together. Let's sign on yeah, the dotted baby, line. Yeah, baby, I love you, but... Uh... Right, let's sign on the dotted line. Let's make sure if something were to happen... Right, yeah. ...that your ass is grass. And that everybody's taken care of. Everybody's properly... Everyone's right. good. Yes. And then as I'm signing it, I'm like, this shit doesn't matter. This is for life. The only way out... Is in a box. Blood in, blood out, huh? Go ahead, Jess. Pretty I know that's much. right. So, and we've been together for so long that I don't even, I think it is void at this point. Yeah, I don't think yeah, it's. Yeah, you guys uh, probably, you probably don't even remember it either. Yeah, yeah no. Yeah. yeah. I, just, I, 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 I think for some people, like, especially like those like, like Dr. Dre and like situations like that. Yikes. Like you guys were, were young and. Whatever. Some folks, I think, like they sign those things because it's like they don't marry to love. They marry for security, you know? And I feel like for you guys, like yeah. there was some love there and like babies there. And you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Um, I think it's different when you got two, um, what would I say? Like if you take a, a Jay and Beyonce type of situation. Right. They they may want to protect each other. It, it, it's not a you know. That's true. Right. They may. It's more like a business thing. And when you do a lot of business like that, everything is about business, even in the relationship. A portion of it is right. Well, here's some the realest shit my boy Kenny told me, and he told me this. He has uh, he has. He has his wife he's with now, and then he has his ex or whatever, right? And he, who he had kids with. And he said, I take care of everything. I make sure everything's good. I never had to have to pay child support or anything like that because I took care of anything. And he said, and as a black man, he said this, why did I feel, why would I have to get white folks in my business? Mm. And I was Very like, true. Ooh. he was like, because they'll just... Once you're in the system, it you're gets the system. nasty. Right. Yeah, you're so in the I, system. And I like, feel and that. No offense to white people, but like, he's just, he's <laughs> well. speaking on, be, well, he's speaking on behalf of the system. He's like, right. on behalf of I, history. Yeah, so, right. like, yeah. You don't have to say no offense. It's no, just, no, yeah. Yeah. That was, yeah, just like, you know what I'm saying? Keep us. Exactly. And he said, like, why do I need to get white folks in my business? Like, right. if I take care of everything, I pay for everything, everything is straight. My ex, she's good. She doesn't have to worry about shit. Right. Why, why does anyone need to file for anything? No. Like, well, a lot Damn. of people don't have that. Everybody doesn't have that attitude. But right. um, being that I was getting ready to marry an NFL player, it was for protection. Yeah. Right. It was for protection. So. But it was okay. It wasn't. I don't feel like it was so much of a no. thing. Or at least I didn't feel that energy. I don't know what you. Of and course you didn't feel that energy. God, you're a guy. I know, but I'll, if you will let me finish. Oh, okay. My dear, um, that <laughs> I don't know what you and your people and your, your mom and the people in your ear and your friends, et cetera, was thinking about it. I don't know. And your mom didn't help you with the process? Well, yeah. Okay, so. Because I was young. Okay, right. right. Yeah, and so it I'm, was take him for all he's got if he does something wrong. Oh, she, her mom tried to rob and give in you, bro. Ooh. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah, no. <nah. laughs> no. Got a lot of love for Gigi. In the grand scheme of things, like I said, it was like, all right, cool, because we're in this for life. So. Yeah. No, that's good. Um, okay, what challenges have you guys faced in your 16 years of being together? 16, right? 
yeah. about that? Yeah. And then how did you persevere through those challenges? Having kids. A lot of people don't talk about transitioning into being parents and how hard that is. Right. And how it gets exponentially harder the more kids you have. Um, those were huge transitions and challenges because, um, <laughs> I don't know, everybody's like, oh, God, it's so wonderful to have all these kids and shit. <laughs> that shit is hard on your marriage. I that bet. is tough. It takes a strong woman and a strong man and a strong foundation to survive having Kids transitioning into parenthood. I would agree. I, and I would agree with that. It's huge. So yeah. there were times when, you know, Marcus wasn't sure if I was psycho. Well, that might be normal. I have a quick question, Jess. Did, did you deal with postpartum depression at all with any of your kids? Um, I know it's a personal question, but. I don't mind talking about it. I dealt with some psychosis. Yeah. <laughs> I dealt with some things where Marcus was asking my doctor, I think it was after the third one, he was like, is she ever going to be, is she going to go back to normal? Is she going to return? Dead ass, though. Like, right, he was yeah. dead Oh, wow. Serious. Yeah. Because, I, you know, it was, was, that, it was tough. Was it just the stress mm-hmm. of... It was tough. It yeah. was the hormones. I had had two babies back to back. Right. And it was, it was tough. It was harder than I thought. Mm-hmm. And... um so, yeah, the first few months. I don't think there's anything. He's an angel. Like, <laughs> like even like as a guy, like, I don't think there's anything more difficult than motherhood, especially with small kids, like multiple kids, right. and, like, close in age, back to back like that. Like, right. Like, I don't know you, how people are like, this is great. This like, is that is a, that is a, that is a beast. <laughs> that is a whole nother beast. And there's no... <laughs> There's break. No out. There's yeah. no break. No. Yeah. There's, There's no, no, break, no break, break, and then you don't come home with an instruction manual. It's yeah, like, no. Here you go. All they make sure is that that car seat's in there. Definitely make the, yeah. Make sure <laughs> right. the car seat. And yeah. You come home. Right. You know. Yeah. I yeah. struggled through the car seat <laughs> <laughs> that first day. I tried to get in the car and make sure it's right. Yeah. But yeah. And then you driving two miles an hour on the way home. No. Yeah. Oh, when, yep. when my son was born, Music low. and I'm yeah. just like, I kept like looking at yeah. that. Like, is he all right? He's all right, right? He's all right, right? Yep. You know, absolutely. I remember it well. But I hopped in the back seat, yep. fresh off a of C-section, <sighs> Carmen screaming, and I just dived back there. And I want like, to ask you, Jess, with with C-sections because I'm I'm not ed- really too educated oh on them. Oh my god, C-sections. Um, how like the recovery for that? Like how long does it take? Because you you've had a lot of C sections. Yeah, I've had I've had a ton to the point where my doctor was like, "I'm about to just set your tubes on fire because I do not want to see you." Don't ever come back, right? For what another C section. Does, does it ever? Do you ever? Does it ever scare you about like the amount of C sections you've had and like the high risk of other things that could happen later on in life with like scar tissue and stuff like that? No. Okay. No, it you know, when you're when you want to have a baby or you want to have a family, you don't really even mm-hmm. think about that. Right. And so the first few C sections, mm-hmm. I mean, it hurts. It's like ow, ow, ow. But the last one. Yeah. I don't wish that on anybody. Was it was it because of the recovery time? Yeah. I don't know longest? if it was because I had the tubal ligation. With the C-section. And, you know, I would like to say I have a pretty high tolerance for pain. Mm -hmm. And I cried several times because of pain. And I had to, like, have my mom wipe my ass and stuff. So you you couldn't move. Well, before I was able to. And this last time, I couldn't stand upright without being bent over for almost two months. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Did it feel like 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 your insides wanted to fall out essentially? Yeah. Oh my yeah. goodness. It was just Oh, it was painful. Oh. Yeah. And you were a supportive husband? Um absolutely. You got great sleep. Absolutely. Um made sure I was well rested so I could take care of her in the morning and make sure she's good. Make sure I'm good. But it's it, it's a uh, it's definitely a thing, and I know it, it um, and I've said this before, too, that it doesn't compare, but being someone's um, 
support that's going through. Um, yeah, what, yeah what, kind it's, of, what toll did it take on you? Because, I mean, at the same time, like, it hurts. This, well, that's the thing. Like, she's complaining, of course. But at the right. same time, like, you don't want to see your yeah. woman in pain. Like, you and don't want to see your woman hurting. You the know? funny part about it is there's nothing I could really do. I could be there to support. I could say little calm words. I could rub her back or whatever. But, I mean, it was nothing I could really do. So, right. And I tried not to bother him when I... There was, after I had my son, um, I had to use the bathroom, Mm -hmm. right? And the nurse at Swedish decided she wasn't going to give me my medication because I was supposed to have it every four hours. And so I had to use the bathroom. He sleep on an air mattress on the floor in the room. And I'm in so much pain. So I try to call the nurse, right? And I'm like, they didn't give me my pain medicine. It was a new nurse at this point. And I'm like, and I have to use the bathroom. Mm -hmm. So in that moment, I had a decision to make. Do I wet my pants? Or do I get up and walk to the bathroom? Or do I get up and walk to the bathroom? Right. And I got up while he was asleep, and I cried the entire walk to the bathroom, and I was in so much pain. I slept through that. Did you? Do you remember that? A little bit, a little bit. You're lying. I you only know, know that because I told you. I know. And then I was like, "Dude, you're an asshole." If you like sat there and they're like, "Why are <laughs> you wake me up?" I could have helped you. Or he was, <laughs> you got mad and asked me, "Why didn't I wake you up?" Right. Yeah. Because uh, I'm just because I I was in did, so much pain. Did you feel like you wanted to like collapse? Yes. Oof. Yes, and I blame that nurse. <laughs> C-section. Uh, a C-section is something to see. Live in action, though. He's had to take a seat. So Not you know on I, his first, second, or third one. I think the fourth one. I have the video one. camera, right? And I, I feel like they gave us some extra perks for it because you're really not supposed to do it. Um, no, you're not supposed to record it. But well, I did it, though. I had the handheld join in there and uh, <laughs> flipped the screen. <laughs> you see, with the handheld join, they got the little screen up. But the, the uh, laser and then the smell of the burnt flesh. You know, frying as they. <laughs> yeah, Marcus it's... told me he was like, so there was a doctor on each yeah. end of your stomach, and he said they were pulling as hard as they leaning. Could. I'm talking about like all the weight is like leaned back on both sides, pulling and stretching. It's crazy, man! It's... Are you serious? <gasps> Women yeah. are amazing. Yeah. yeah. The human body is yeah. amazing. It's crazy. Yeah. Wait, yeah. so they th- all their body weight? Yeah. And they're just. All right. Yeah. It's kind of like they're playing tug of war on each side, for real. And you're just sedated. Yep. I'm yeah. just laying there like. Doo, 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 Wait, were you doo, awake? Doo. Yeah. yeah. You're yeah, awake. You're awake. Yeah. yeah, yeah you yeah, get a right. spinal. Yeah. And then you're awake. And you can feel a little bit of tugging, but you. It's the aftermath. Um, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, it was something to see. I got to find the videos. Yeah. <laughs> and then at the end, they like. Press down your stomach. Yeah, to get all that fluid out. And they get, like, they fill up, like, a container of, like, blood and fl- It's so gross. <sighs> Next question. Have you guys ever broke up? I don't think so. Well, obviously, before you were well, married. What do you mean? Like, before you were married, like, you guys ever, like, break up? Like, you know what? I'm tired of you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I used to dump them all the time. How many? <laughs> did no, wait, you- wait, wait, wait. I, I never felt like I was dumped. <laughs> no. <laughs> you might be upset. But you're not going to dump me, though. Yes, you, you, I did. You was, I was like, I'm sick of this shit. And you might leave, but you, you, you didn't want to. <laughs> oh, but I didn't dump you. Yeah, no. Nah. Oh, okay, okay. But you was upset that day, <laughs> and I get that, and that's okay. I'm okay with that. Oh, but. my gosh. And, 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 and was, it, was it you having to call her or her just like, hey, look, let's talk? No, it, it, it's always me. Uh, I've been in the wrong uh, 99.9% of the time. Percent Ooh, of the times. High five to that. Yeah. So let's talk about that uh, 0.1%. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Here we go. No, but um, so wait, how many, how many times did you like dump him like once, like was like once a month, twice a month? No, You'd it wasn't like, like that. No, it was just a couple of times. A couple of times? Yeah. Yeah. And you were like sincerely over it? No. But mm. I wanted to send a message. I mean, I told you, see it. <laughs> it was. <laughs> but okay. it was. Yeah. It was deserved, though. So, you know, being yeah. uh, young, stupid, selfish, uh, 
Mm-hmm. Men, man, and um, as we grew in our relationship, I knew. <laughs> I started to learn my boundaries. Right. Yeah. What what was like? Um, start putting myself in that position. Would I want this done to me? Right. Oh yeah, I had to bring that. That'll so that'll change a that, guy real quick. Well, well, here's one. Let thing. me do the yeah. same thing. Here's one thing I learned. You don't want is that. that it's hard for men when your whole life you've been a certain way and no one's told you what you're doing is wrong. Right. It, you oh, know. But you've had no consequence. You've had no consequence. Yeah. Guys you, are you, able to, like I said, have D-cup titties in a gut. And it's like, yay. It's socially acceptable. It's socially acceptable for guys to be players, assholes, this, that, this, that. And who, who told you guys you had to be like that? I don't think anyone told us we had to be like that, but I just think part why of why is it accepted? I, 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 I celebrated. I can tell you why is it celebrated. Well, I can tell you in the at least the era that we grew up in is that we grew up in an era of a time where it was about excess and more is better. Well, um, and so everything that was promoted that's to America you, America in general. Well, well, everything that was promoted to you was more. More is better. If you notice these young kids now, a lot of these young kids, they just want one girlfriend. They don't want a bunch of different right. girls. They do. And so they like do. that that's a, the, like and that you, I've noticed that. Yeah. And like and I just remember us growing up like it was different. It was mm-hmm. like you needed to have two, three, I four got girls. Got I, hoes. I got hoes. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Got, like Yeah, no. Nah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like I, I right. agree. You're, you are right. I was one of those guys that grew up idolizing Jay-Z. I'll admit that. Right. And like hearing girls, girls, girls in high school, I was like, that's my <laughs> life. I want six different chicks right. from six different, different countries. countries. <laughs> Absolutely. What? Yes, that's the dream. Yeah, the American dream. That's the yeah. dream. Like, you know what I'm saying? They like me, they love me, they want me. You right. know, so I, you know, and obviously when you get older and you understand how the yeah. world really works. Yeah. And you know, men can like, handle it though. If the, 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 Shoe was on the other foot. That's hey, you know what's up? Cold game. A lot of breakdowns. A lot of um, tears. You guys and just sh- don't want to be vulnerable. Don't yeah. do anything. Here's what. Here and here's the difference between some guys and what you just said. Because then you have a cat like myself, and I'm not trying to make this about me, <laughs> but I have a cat like myself. That's like that had the mind that used to have the mindset of huh, these hoes for everybody. Right. So like I yeah, I used to think like that. Right. So like, oh girl, you're gonna go do that? Go do your thing. I'm right. I ain't your daddy. Like oh. but it was that asshole that that was that insecure right. that's asshole. What you, do. you know what I'm saying? But like there is still a part of me though that still this is kinda <laughs> like you can't force someone to stay, right? Right, yeah. That's so true. like I'm not gonna sit here and okay. kill myself over the fact that you don't want to stay and you want to go play the field. Throw that fish back in the fucking water, bro. You know how many people Wait are a yeah. minute. No, that 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 is true. Just saying. That is the wrong attitude. No, to no, have. that's true. If somebody wants to go, that's how I feel. there's nothing you can do to stop that. And why would you want to stop that? If somebody there is things you could because you don't know why a person wants to go. You have no idea. I know, but there's a point have and a cutoff. Worked? There's a point and a cutoff, though. It well, and there's stages to a relationship. Are you married? Are you just dating? Are you young? Are you right? Older, it just depends. I think, and this is just me talking. If somebody wants to go, if you're married and you're you're like, okay, I'm I'm out here, I'm still doing it. Uh, I got you at the house, but I'm still, I said, I'm still going to make it happen. Right. Like if I've done everything possible to do my part to want to keep you here, and you still don't want to be here. I have nothing for you. Like, what, what, what can I do for you? But, but you I, at least need to act like you want right. to end it all. This is the biggest but, though. I would just end it. I'd be like, yo, leave. This yeah, is the but. Cares. Men usually want both. They, they want the lady to they be, be there. there. They, to they want her to stay, but you and still. Yes. I'm active. I'm out here. Right. They throw that fish back into the sea or whatever you said. Throw that fish all back that. in the water. Yeah, right. so. And, the and that's the thing is, with men. You couldn't have your cake and eat it too. Still, it's insecurity. Men love to have their ego stroked. Women, right? there's women too that yeah. like their ego okay, stroked. Okay, but men, I think a little bit more than women, and we don't. We might like our ego stroked, but it's not stroked by 
You'd be surprised. Women are day- just different. They definitely like their ego. Yeah, because stroke. in the day and age we yeah. live in, with uh, with the, the internet inspirations like the Megan Thee Stallions and the Cardi B's and stuff like that. Oh, trust me, these women like their ego stroked. Right. I I agree with that, but guys are insecure. A lot of Not men. All. A <laughs> lot of men are insecure. And the way to feel security or feel like they're that dude. Masculine. Right. Is to take down a bunch of disposables. <laughs> and. That's true. That's I real. mean, come on. No, that's so real. there is nothing wrong with having sex with one person your entire life. If you are secure within yourself, if you are comfortable, if you love your girl and. Right. If you put your all into it, it's a different type right. of situation when you put everything that you got into it. But if you got your, you got your side pieces and you got your work on the side, it's, right. it's different. You might not be fulfilled right. like that. Have you ever heard of the idea? Now, this is, I don't believe this. This is just a you question. You just heard about it on the internet? No, or no, no, no. This is a question. I've, had, I've actually had discussions with people about this before because I actually had a friend bring this up to me. He, had, he had asked me this and I was like, whoa, I never thought about this. He's, he was like, um, he was like, have you ever felt like you might have had a connection with more than one person? Like, let's say, like you're in a relationship with somebody, you're married to somebody, and you're like, you're you're connected to your partner, but then you meet someone else, let's say, but like it's not nothing like sexual or anything like that, but like you feel this connection with this person, and then the connection feels deeper. Like, what do you do in that situation? Because it's like, do you feel like in this life that you just have one soulmate? Yes. Okay. You might have a connection with somebody, but you, believe you only have one twin flame. You only have one twin flame. Right, right. And you are, we are here to procreate. Not with somebody that you kind of feel like, oh, God, I'm connected. Right. But with your partner. Right. Yep. So, no. I feel like you well, got to protect that, your, yes. your, your, um, protect your positivity or protect your, um, what am I trying to say? Energy. Like you, yeah, your energy. Thank you, mama. Yeah, you, you got to protect your energy. You know, things happen in uh, your boy or whoever. They may have had a connection like that, but it can't and it shouldn't amount to the, the type of connection that you have with your woman. You, you sh- should work on that to get to where you are fully Right. That's the right. communication. You can't even connect with anybody else That's on that level. That's the, the uh, talks Ooh. and the late night talks. Good. That's the going through all the BS to make sure that connection is exactly where Somebody's you need to be. Somebody's love language is about to be filled. Hey, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, but you're it's getting, work. You're getting nasty tonight, <laughs> so sir. So all that... <laughs> just so you know. All that work you put in, it shouldn't be for naught, is right. what I'm saying. So you you... you Grind through it and you make it work and then you get to a point where like, ah, I've arrived. I'm here. Right. So. Word. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, God. No, that's real. Hey. Oh, shit. hey. Mm. Have either one of you ever felt insecure in your relationship? Um, Is that like. Why are you giving me that look? A trick question? It's just I, a I question. know. Is that like a trick question? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Being with an. NFL athlete? Are you kidding me? Oh my god! I feel like I asked like an asshole question. Did I just ask an asshole question? No, but okay. you asked a very. Um, it's obvious. Was I there, mean, well, has there any times that he may have felt insecure in a relationship? He has yes. a very beautiful wife. Yes, that's, that's what I'm saying. Yes. Like, we're not going to put out the fact that yes, you're married to an NFL player. Are you NFL speaking player. for me? Or, 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 sorry. <laughs> yes, yes, he has. <laughs> sure I know. Sorry, but, but like, you know what I'm gun. saying? Like, what I would say for, and this is just for me, right? I'm, I'm just speaking from personal experience. When you're doing your thing, I'm. NFL, this and that, you might be a little distracted. I can say I might have been a little distracted, right? But when you really take the time and really focus on your lady, sending what you got, sending what you got going on, it's a little bit different, man. Mm-hmm. And you, you love different, you care different, and it's just a different type of situation. So you become vulnerable. You know, 
Men, if you got a bunch of girls around you all the time, it don't matter what's going on. You can't even see what's really going on because you got the security blanket right. of these chicks that's making you. Got you the ego yeah, blanket. I got my chest is puffed out. Oh, I got all this. It's going down. I'm good anyway, right? Mm -hmm. But then as you become vulnerable because you put everything in, it's like, oh, okay, well, I don't know. Now I'm kind of nervous. I'm a little scared. I better, <laughs> I better do things right type thing. But right. I mean, it could be good. It, it, and it's just a, a maturity type of thing. But um, I think it's good to be that way. And you got to be not fearful, but you got to make sure. And this is just me you speaking. You make each other feel secure. Yeah. Right. Make That's each other feel secure. And uh, just know that you got a bad one with you if you're in the right situation that you got a bad one and you want to make sure you take care of her. And that's all it is. And I think that's part of I'm it I'm secure too. in it though. When you but, realize, yeah. oh, I really do have a bad one. And I better tighten up or I can lose it, it or I can lose it if yeah. I, you know. What advice would you guys give to people that have gotten jealous in relationships? That it's normal, but don't let that be a, a defining factor in your relationship is jealousy you can't survive i would say talk about it in a relationship yeah. but i think it's natural at some point maybe in the beginning to have some type of jealousy or mm -hmm. when you went through what i went through <laughs> dang so uh yeah but <laughs> not not long term what I would say... Sorry, am I making this like... Mm, no, 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 no. You're good. It's just that, We're that good. look you gave was What I piercing. would say is talk about it. And I can only talk about it from a man's point of view. Talk about it. Be open. Be... Um, get threatened. Get some reassurance. No, if it... No. Uh, I guess I'm saying from a man's point of view. If a man is jealous no, about his woman... Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. Talk about it. Be open. Let her know that um, I'm feeling this way, and this is why. And maybe she's unaware, and maybe she doesn't get it. So it's all about communication, I think, in a relationship, and and uh, just overall being positive. When you're thinking in the negative, and you're guessing it kind of what your woman is thinking, or mm -hmm. maybe she's thinking this. Maybe she got eyes in other places. Talk about it. Close eventually, it's going to come out. There. Eventually, it's going to come out. If it's like that, if that's really what it is, eventually, it's going to come out. Right. So, hey. I can just tell just, like, when we talk about you guys' story of, like, how, like, in love she is and was with you right in the beginning like i wasn't good i'm a nice guy but no, i was a nice she no she a nice she, asshole she yeah. stuck her claws in yeah <laughs> yes she did it was like he's mine and no, i'm glad she did no no you you, you not that you stuck like your you claws in but you rode the wave with me through my immature Yes. Phase. Yeah, like I did. Like sticking so, your claws in him. That's not necessarily a bad thing. It's okay, like well, I stuck. I stuck with him. Rephrase and your statement. Okay. All right, Negro. Look. All right. You stuck your claws Can in, you? and you and you stayed along for the ride. And you're you like, you know what? This is gonna. This is gonna be right. You gently grabbed on to him because you knew that this was. Just the truth out. There's nothing you do gently. I just I had to tell. shake some sense into just, me, and that's okay. Yeah, no, I know. You're right. You're actually right. A lot of us need that. We need to get over the at the rap videos and the, the the false reality of really what's going on. Even here. Instagram, it's a false reality. Yeah, of these yeah. Girls I'm not even here. talking about social I media, want but Instagram yeah. Girl. Well, I'm saying it's kind of yeah. That's. That's like, true. Oh, well, guess what? I don't know how the young guys do it. I, I, I don't know how you're single and on IG and doing it now. That's that's a tough situation, bro. Right. You get what you get. It's, you it's, it's weird when, like, you hear about these young folks that are like, yeah, man, like, I found this girl. Man, she got, like, 20,000 followers, that's though. I don't, I don't know if I'll, yeah, I don't I, know. I, I've heard guys be like, I don't want to, I don't know if I want to talk to her because her head might be too gassed up. So you got to get her when she's at like 2000. Oh, I don't want to come off as thirsty. So I don't yeah, want to be in her DMs. Or, yeah. And like, people ain't even really young, talking. That's how these young boys are. I know. Like I've, these young boys are talking about. It. I'm like, are it's you different. serious? 
Like it that's is. what it's like now. It's a different oh. time. Thank God. Thank God. Yeah. Oh We're my married. God. Have um, have you guys dealt with haters? Haters, as in just like haters in your like your relationship. Yeah. And then how do you deal with those haters? And what do you have to say to those haters now? Your thoughts. We're still together, haters. Yeah. <laughs> And and we're, we're still happy. here, and it, I mean the proof is in it right now. We're we, happier we, than you. We are here right now. We're doing a couples. <laughs> <laughs> we're, <laughs> we're doing a couples podcast. We're doing stuff together. We we got goals, aspirations of taking over the world as a couple. We are or best friends, getting, keeping our kids alive, and we're best friends. Really, it, it, it's yeah. really about us. If we didn't have any. Thing else, and we just had us, and we was able to just, you know, chill and be about us. That's all we need, man. It don't. Yeah, I'd go broke with you. Yeah, it don't. Uh, Maybe. It don't take much, you know what I'm saying? When you got your soulmate, right, right. But yeah, so. there are haters. There's, there's always, ugh. always haters. There's always, always haters. haters, and sometimes your family is your biggest. They're, biggest they're your biggest haters. They're oh, not. Wait a minute. Don't take that. Don't take that the wrong way. But take it. It could be the people closest to you, oh, but I, I know. Trust me. Yeah. I learned yeah. a long time hey, ago. For what? For what? That people are always gonna have something to say. I don't know if it comes from sport. I don't know if it comes from whatever, but I've got pretty good at just blocking out the noise. And you know what I'm saying? You know one thing I've learned about haters and mm-hmm. how I've always shake shook haters off? Is I learned this. Haters are born. They mama was a hater. Mm. They daddy was a it's hater. Generational it's hate. generational hate. That's heavy. They, they came from, it's in their DNA yeah. to be a hater. How right. could you hate on another human right. being that's, that's doing good? Mm. Don't you want, don't, that, shouldn't that motivate you to want to be yeah. successful? You're like, dang, they did that. Wow, this is a successful black family. Right. I want something like that. Well, they don't know That's how. Cool. So you hate when you, know you what don't saying? know so how. It's like, so you hate on it. Yeah, because you, you don't know how to do it and you don't have it. So you mm-hmm. hate on it because you're insecure. Go see a therapist. Don't blame yeah. it on your Zodiac sign. Actually. I don't participate. Posted a meme about that the other Do day. you participate in the Zodiacs and oh, I'm, many dude, people act like this oh, if you were born oh, here? I, trust me, I'm... I is believe it not in, accurate? I believe in aliens. If you saw the tattoos on me, I'm out there. But at the same time, nah, listen. Right. You're the way you are. What you're raised around is what you know. That's normal. Right. No, normal is what happens in a household. So what you're conditioned to is... How you develop and how you think. I'm right. not blaming your zodiac sign on it. Now, yeah, your no. zodiac sign might influence how you might lean a certain way towards maybe certain things, maybe. But at the end of the day, no, it does. At the, at the end of the day, you've made a conscious decision to be and, to be a hater. And if you don't <laughs> like somebody because they got something it's that biological. you want, you're a you're hater. A hater. By, your mom was a hater. Nature. Here's the thing. Most people that I know are that are haters Hater is crazy nature. that like if I if I know who their parents are, I'm like, yeah, their mom was the nosy woman on the porch True. smoking yeah, a cigarette. True. Smoking new Why, yeah. Yeah. It's a learned behavior. It's a learned We're not behavior. you're not born a hater. You really aren't. Nobody's born that no, way. You're not born it to is, hate. You are conditioned to hate. It is a learned behavior. Yeah, you're a hater. So you're a hater. Absolutely. Um, have you ever this is a question for you, Jess, because Essentially, you were the outsider, I guess, that came into his world, right? Oh, yeah. Have, did you have any falling outs with friends over him? Over him in what way? Like, just in general? Because I've had to cut off full... I've, I've cut off so many people. Yeah, I would say just in general then. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I have. I have. Wow. Particularly... <laughs> And were these like best friends? <laughs> no. Okay. No. So like no childhood Shout friends. Shout out to Erica and Maisha. I love you guys. Um, um no. No. The literally the only people that I've really had to cut off because of him is family. And that sucks. Because it's always it usually hurts. the closest people to it you. Hurts. The biggest haters of them all. It was it's just like, why can't I be happy? happy? Right? right? Yeah. Yeah. So, 
like cousins. Yes. That's usually what it is. It's like, it's, it's never usually siblings because siblings are no, like, no, not Yo, siblings. Rah, rah, do your thing. Like, yeah. you win, we all win. Yeah. But it's the cousins because the cousins are like, well, my cousin's married to this NFL player. He got this bread. We're cool, but man, she ain't about to kick in. No, it was. I no, thought, it's she's on her high horse. Oh. Bitch, I've been on a high horse. I don't even know what you're it's talking like, about. We know you. We know how you are. You you changed. Yes, <laughs> I've changed. Um. Hey, look here. I'm going to tell you this right now. Okay. I didn't become the person that I am in life. You didn't become the person that by you are. By staying the same. By staying the yeah. same. Change is inevitable, right? So that's what like, I was going to say. A lot so of people like, don't so understand. Like, just the change. Yeah. Evolving. Right. It's inevitable. Right. Yeah, and absolutely. It's, it's just, I, I haven't, I'm still the same person. It's just what I have and what I, like I said, it's, it's an evolution. Everything right. has evolved. And so, I don't know, I guess that equates to being on a high horse. I don't know. I don't give a shit. Actually, and I don't think it really matters, man. People that are going to be in your life, people that are going to be around, are going to be around, and that's just the energy that you bring with it. That's how it works, and that's um, and you're going to be exactly where you're going to be. So we want to be around positivity. So those that are naturally haters or negative or whatever, they're going to weed themselves away because we don't want to be around that. I don't want to be around that. I'm a naturally positive dude, glass half full all the time. To a fault, right? At times, but yep. that's just me, and that's my energy. So, if anything is opposite of that, it's it's just a natural thing. I just don't want to be around. And guess that. what, true? That's why you win. Hey, you win the game of life. Positivity, right. my brother. No, literally, that's he right. wins the game you of win life. You win the game of life. Like friend. he has discovered so. the secret to life. I don't know. I'm trying to be more like him. Seriously. Hey, man, I think I get it from what? I get it from Constance and Papa Chill. Huh? Yeah. So that's, yeah. yeah. That's what's up. Yeah. So, you know, shout I grew up, I had a, yeah. Shout out to mom and dad. Shout out to moms and pops, man. That's right. Good childhood and just, you know, all the support in the world, just being positive. Yeah. And that's what we try yeah. to do with our kids now. We yeah. talk to our kids. We mm -hmm. try to be positive. Of course, it's times when we need to get on them, but we want to be positive. We want right. to be uplifting. We were just we, having this yeah. talk with my brother about like these little human beings upstairs. They're little human beings. They have the same feelings, emotions, mm -hmm. like us. So we have to treat them as such and deal with them as such. Yeah, they might not have the same level of reasoning and all that kind of stuff, but they still have the same desires, you know, fears, all that kind of stuff that we do. They're just in tiny little bodies. Right. So we try to parent that way. As you can hear them running wild upstairs. <laughs> well, here's what's funny is I came down here to set up and uh, your daughter was doing her tap mm -hmm. dancing class. Mm -hmm. And she was, and, she, and like, this is why I know I'm just like, God, like this kid's been raised <laughs> fucking right. <laughs> she looks at me and goes, oh, I'm so sorry. Like my dad told me you guys are coming to set up. Like, <laughs> I'll be, and I was like. Mama, it's okay. Like I can set up around I'm you. I'm in your space, I'm right? Like, right, right? I was right. like, you're good. And she's like, okay. And so she's still doing her class. And then, like, the kids are tap dancing to um, um, the teacher's like, hey, I want you guys to tap dance, um, um, like, Christmas carols or whatever, mm -hmm. right? And so each kid's doing one or whatever. It's super cute. I'm like, I'm like listening to it and stuff. This is cute. And, like, one kid does, like, I don't know, like, Frosty the Snowman. And, like, your daughter and I, like, look at each other. And we're both oh like, my God. And we both are like, that ain't Frosty the fucking Snowman. And we both, like, start laughing. And we're like, nah. Yeah. No, and that's just, funny. And I was just like, yeah. so I just, I saw a little bit of, of both of you in her in mm -hmm. that moment. I was just like, oh, I was like, this yeah. is like, that's good parenting. So to you haters out there, your kids are probably going to be haters. Your grandkids are going to probably be haters. And your my great, suggestion great is, is you should break the fucking cycle while you're ahead. Okay. Get the hate out your that's heart. It. Absolutely. Yeah. Get the hate Get the out, hate your, out mouth. your heart. Get it out your mouth. Get, Get out, it your out your mouth. Heart. Get out your heart. Get it out. Um, another question. Uh, Get off of haters. Uh, have you guys ever had stalkers? You ever had deal? Did you ever deal with that? True. Uh, well, what? Okay. 
define a stalker because remember Someone, i've had thirsty i've had stalkers i okay. don't know oh. did you ever have to deal with somebody just showing up all the time like all the time to, to the point it's like probably i didn't probably you to probably like to the point like i i don't even have conversation with you and you just so happen to show up to everything that i be at you know what i don't give people that chance yeah, not not so much stalker, but I'm 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 good with people, bro. So if if you come and you stalk ish type of a personality, overly overly showing up and being uh, there all the time, I have a way to oh hey, uh, you have to kind of high five and just kind of moving on and maybe tell one of my boys or somebody make sure you box them out so they can't. <laughs> <laughs> get in to the circle type thing. Yeah. <laughs> <You make> <laughs> <laughs> Dennis Robin box <laughs> out. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying? It's it, it's <laughs> never really been a thing for me. I don't know why, but I've never felt paparazzi. Is that a um term? Well, no, but I know, no, no. But but I'm saying, and not so much by the media, but even by fans or you know. Girls or even dudes could be. This, this is Seattle. You didn't, hey. have, yeah. you didn't have that one old yeah. sixty-year-old like white woman that yeah, showed yeah. up to everything. I had yeah, that, but I had that working in radio. Yeah, and yeah, I'm yeah. Like, this is not cool. Yes, but I flipped it into. They're just supporting the movement of Team True. See the book of life right here. He yeah. definitely you know has what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Come on in. And, and yeah. My guy knows how and, to yeah. turn any negative I'll into a positive. I'll get you one drink, but then you got to go. <laughs> <laughs> right. You, you got to turn the other way. And I'm going to tell security. Hey, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, hey, man, it's all positive. I get it. Everybody can't be a part of the circle, but I appreciate you wanting to be down with the movement. Right. No. Peace, love, and soul. My no, <laughs> there's no peace, love, and soul. I'm like... Are you stalking me? What's up? Why are you here? Why are you following me everywhere? Ew, back up, get out of my face. I don't want to see you. And then I probably get cussed out. So, yeah. When we had the discussion about stalking, and that might have been episode three or four. Yeah, I think I don't it was know. three. Um, did he stalk you? Because I feel like, and I'm going to bring this up now because I feel like we've gotten to know each other well enough. And I'm like, all right, I'm going to ask this because I went back and looked at that one episode and, and how you looked. I feel like she was talking about she you. She probably was. Did yeah. he pull up to your job with his doors open on his nah. car? Was that him? No, that nah. was somebody else. I was too cool for you that. You were too cool I was, for yeah. that. That I was, not, was somebody I else. I was too fly was for that. he was kind of, yeah. it was just, you know, yeah. there's people that just don't get the hint. A too right. fly and for that. And he just didn't quite get the hint. You're too, see, look at you. No, You're he too is. Fly no, for that? no, he is. I am too no, fly is, for that. Yeah, no, he is too I will reiterate that. that two and three times. Well, yes. you're not too fly now. I know, but that was the old no, me. No, Jess, no, about, no. Though. A I different can, me. I though. can see with his personality yeah, how yeah, laid yeah, back yeah. he is. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, if you I don't always, want me there, no, no, wait, 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 wait. I always tell people when we first started dating that he stalked me, but it. He had called me a few times, and I don't know. I didn't. Did you call her more than? Did you call like every day? For like no, but, but no, but no. Finish. Like I called you a couple of times. Then what happened? I don't know. I think I don't know. You said you left a message. Yeah, and, and then she I never got it. Stopped picking up or whatever, or something happened. So I went dark. I'm like, all right, cool. If it's right, hey, I'm no. not going. Yeah. Right. I'm saying if it's not cool, okay, cool. I understand that. I understand the game. If you it's not went dark. No, you did. <laughs> <laughs> That's that Wesley Snipes happened. No, okay. you did. It wasn't me. It was you. I know. No, he said. He just said he went. No, dark. he no. went first. No, I'm saying I didn't hear from you. I I reached out and I'm like you well, stopped no, no, no. Well, reaching no. out. Well, no, 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 he stopped reaching out to you. I remember this because he his, lost my number. He lost your number. No, he lost the phone because that's when he got injured right, and you yeah. went dark. I remember that because you said you got hurt. He didn't lose no he, full phone. Did you lose a full phone? I can't remember what happened, but I, I felt like either. I reached out. I wasn't getting the responses I liked. I'm like, okay, it must not be. Okay, what so I, then he was talking me. Okay, yeah. Move on. Did no, what? Well, no, no. I was interested, but if the the interest wasn't there, hey, hey. Were you giving him short responses? Because that's the thing with guys, like especially like text message. If you're giving the one two word responses, like all right, obviously this chick's not interested. Okay, well let's go all the way back to 2000 and when was okay? So 2000 and what? 
three and the one word responses, first of all, it was, you couldn't give a one word response, I don't think, with the phone. <laughs> the green and screen. And it was, do, 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 yeah. do, do, do. So maybe a one liner. But um, I don't even think we had the capabilities. Yeah, we, we did. had cell phones. Yeah, yeah. A pause to, to send. 2000. Because yeah. here's the thing 2003, we had I had two a ways platinum time stuff. port. Yeah, I had a two way platinum yeah. time port. And that's all I was doing was texting. I didn't have no a damn two way and phone on my hip and didn't know how to yeah. use either. But. I was in high school with a time port texting and I only had like five people to text. Yeah. <laughs> I had an ATT Motorola and wasn't shit popping a big off. Big ass two way. No yeah, 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 yeah. You know why? Jay Z had one, yeah. so I had to have oh, yeah. one. My Everything on the belly, I like, had to have and one. And the tall man. white tee tucked in on that side. Yeah, I was, yeah, so, yeah man, no, I, I, I didn't. You know how much pussy that two way got me? Oh, <laughs> I could only imagine. Man, because I was in high school. Yeah, so no, I was like, you were hella tight with the two way. Yeah, you know, I, I didn't have mine till I got to the league. See, I had the time port. Yeah. I was in the streets, and I'm over here with Jay Z, Hey Poppy, playing yeah. in my head. I thought I was the man. Oh, hey, literally walking down the street. Dun, with the dun, 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 dun. <laughs> and re- remember the genuine song Two Way? Uh, I do. and I had that was because it, 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 it like, do, 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 do. I do remember that. I had that tone. Like one of my my my, my little chick, she hit me up. It'd be like. Do, 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 Oh, I was the Sheesh. I thought I was the and you man. Were like, uh, I was like, I was the guy. I'm the shit. Yeah. But yeah, what was um So yeah, so wait, okay. No, so it wasn't. If we were didn't talking, it wasn't via text. It so was, it was like phone calls. It was yes, the call, was and that's calls. what it was. So you just stopped calling her. Lost a he number. He lost his my number or the phone or some. But sh- I didn't get nothing back. She had my number too, so I'm like, that's true. It takes two. If you were interested, you could have. You I think I called her. Lost a number, whatever, or you changed numbers, you maybe. Could've. I don't know, but what is what is with women in the end that like like you don't want to feel like you're chasing him because I feel like She's a lot of women are, hard to get. Yeah, but like if you're really interested in him, like. I know, like, she nowadays, like, the whole, like, you're shoot, shooting your shot. But, like, back then in that time, because even, like, when I was dating, like, it was always, like, a girl be interested in you. And then it's like, well, damn, girl, you could call me, too. Well, it's kind of like a guy's mentality. I could take it or leave it. But just, but, but. Go ahead, Jess. Uh, this I is when it goes right. both ways, though, Kale. <laughs> and you right. talk. That's what. She said, go ahead. I know that's right. But you're talking about the social norms, okay? I'm a female. I got to act a certain way. I can't even act like I like the guy because this isn't what we do because we're getting chased by guys all the time. So we got to kind of nope, act like we it. don't even like you type. Nope, that wasn't I it. Think. I'm not even well, saying at you. At one point, I, was, I didn't like you. I'm just saying in general, though. I'm yeah. just saying in general. And But at the time, if she didn't like me... He was used to being liked by everybody. No, if she didn't like me, Maybe it, that's it part was... Of it. Why you lost my number. You know why though she didn't It didn't like- bother me because I was so full on this other cup here was so full, right? And, and so it didn't, I wasn't affected by it. Neither was I. She didn't like you, but subconsciously. Yes, she liked me. She loved you. I know. Because no. now we're here. It was the braids. Uh, it was the five braids. Five later. <laughs> now we're here. Your cup was full. Well. So was yours. Mine was half full. No. How about that? <laughs> I had a shot glass. Your cup runneth over as well from uh, thirst. I don't know. I've always felt that, like, it was, it's always seemed as, like, bad if a woman is aggressive towards a man. Uh, duh. Theme Why of the night. That? By design, we're supposed to be docile and submissive and virgins and... Like yeah We're supposed to be that So for us to be aggressive It's like Oh god Look at her She's a hoe Or No yeah, it's like, I'm just aggressive Yeah like She's aggressive or, or she's desperate Cause she's so aggressive Right Right um, Was there any times with Jess That you ever You're like Whoa this chick's aggressive Did you ever have Moments <laughs> uh, where you're like Whoa this is No I, I was more Along the lines Is that uh, She's used to being approached a certain way, so oh, she's gonna fall back, and I'm gonna what? Not try to <gasps> act like you're interested. So Wait. I was like, kind of more like, okay, I see that. And um, did you have to switch up? Like when you got a feel for her, were you like, okay, 
She's used to dudes coming at her a certain way. No, I may no, need to come at no. this a little different. I, I knew, but I oh, didn't care though. You might have no. I was more yeah. along the lines. Yeah, it didn't either. matter to me. It didn't matter what a female thought that he was in his own zone about clearly. me. It didn't matter of what. A female thought about me. I, I didn't care if you thought I was thirsty, if you thought I was weak, if you thought I was whatever. Right. It didn't matter to me. I didn't care. Right. And, and right. which is unfortunate. Which no, is sad. But for, it's still like that now. <laughs> no, but it's like no, that's it's not, not true. I no, damn, it's it. still like that now. Damn, sixteen years, Kale. You see what I'm? No, damn, I'm you just see my saying. voice getting high. I'm, I am I'm, I'm offended. I'm offended <laughs> by that. That high now, right? No, but um, no, I was but, protecting myself back then, though. Right. I, th- there was a, you're protecting I, your energy but I'm saying I it's a different a halo, type of energy so. and it, you're still the same except for it's not with no that's, that's true Yeah. dumb stuff right, right. You, you're still the same way and that no I care I care deeply about you, everything you've always cared I know and you've always cared deeply right yeah but right? I had the the fallback I had the kickstand that was able to help me right stand up if like I could act like oh no I don't care because I boom I'm, I'm able to move like this it don't matter so you know what I'm saying the insecurity the 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 boyish type were of you immaturity insecure or did you just genuinely um, not care I don't think he was insecure I don't think you're insecure I don't think I care that's not in your DNA but that's not the way to be though that wasn't good not to care and I'm I'm um but Here's the thing, bro. You're paying for it now. As a, as no. a, but here's the thing, though, bro. I don't think it's. A, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> that is funny. That's pretty funny. That is but, funny. Yeah. I don't think you're insecure. I just think you think we're thinking like most single people were yeah, thinking. Yeah. Well, where it's like, hey, like. This is my life. Yeah. This is, is the situation I'm in. And you win some, you lose you, some, yeah. right? Yeah. I've always told people, that, well, Jess, look, <laughs> I've always told people, like friends of mine that have always been in this situation of like, dang, like, I can't find anyone. It's hard. I just want to find a, a, a spouse. I just want someone to love. I'm going to lower your standards. Go yeah, ahead. That, but then I tell them like, hey, it's a numbers game at the end of the day. <laughs> It's a I dime used to say a that dozen. all the time. Damn. It's a dime a dozen, you yeah. know, and you're going to win some, you're going to lose some. There's going to be good people that come in your life and you might mess that up, but you've learned something about that. So then right. the, the next person that you're with, you right. know, not to make, you know what I'm saying? Right. And I think that was kind of your situation. Right. And then, growth. Like, yeah, it was growth. And then your diamond came and you were like, okay, like. You know. no, your diamond came and, you know, she was stayed in the, like in the, the freaking the mine for where, where did diamonds Jess go? got it out the mud with Ooh. you, bruh. The the diamond, the mud, the diamonds. Uh, no, you got it out the you got it out, out the, the mud. Hills, with the out diamond of the in the rough, but still, yeah. I was covered in dirt, and um, he didn't realize he didn't realize how shiny I was in the beginning. He didn't understand, and that's okay. He does now. Yeah, yeah, totally. The growth and maturity, fully but what polished. I, but what I say to my Not young really, boys. But Kinda. What I say to my young boys is, yes, it's a numbers game, but if you like something and you see it, it's okay to be vulnerable and kind of express that and, and show that. Thirsty. That's thirsty, whatever you want to call it. If you want to show that girl that you like her and that you're genuinely interested, that she may not be your main or whatever, but if you like her, it's okay to tell her. And if she... It kind of shoots back on some kind of, you know, no, I got my nose up type stuff. That's okay. Did you just say she may not be your main? Yeah. Huh. Okay. Because these days, the females, they got their teams too. And that's, yep. I'm, I'm not naive to that. There that's are women a, out here that yeah. got hosed. We that's learned from the, team, the best. That's just how the teams work with uh, the social media and whatnot. But I go back to say it's Before okay. social media, man. I'm not preaching. Well, you know what? But now we're even more liberated as women to be sexual being right yeah to be hoes if we want to but like, it's not being hoes it. it's like i fuck yeah i, I don't even think it's being hoes I, my thing behind well, that, not being a hoe but just having more than one partner or like my, not being committed to one person if you, if, if you are safe about it and you want to be promiscuous and you're safe and you're smart sex is a beautiful thing we're gonna talk about this next episode we're gonna have a sex episode that's gonna be the next one uh, nice it's gonna be really good but um <laughs> it's gonna be really good clutches 
But no, like I feel like if if you if you are sexually promiscuous and you're smart and you're safe about it, like and you're upfront and honest about it, do your thing. Like don't let any like listen. You have one life, okay, and your life is too short to have bad sex and 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 be unsatisfied. Actually, well, that's how you learn what you want is by having bad sex. Actually, you know, I would like um, to say guys so, fall hard too, and that's the. You guys got to let go of this. The oh, hidden the thing is I don't want to act like my feelings is hurt. Yeah, I like this girl, but uh, it's not a big deal. It, and she's nothing to me. The thing, though, if you like someone enough, Keep you care about that. someone enough, and you know that they're going to be happy without you. That's hard. That's hard. But let them be happy, right? right? I'm going to get that, a lot of flack you, in my group thread for being so, you know. I, see, look yeah. at you. You're already. No, 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 no. I'm just saying, I'm totally comfortable with speaking like this. I've, I've grown to this. I wasn't always like this. but mm-hmm. Hey, the thread might want to speak like this, but don't want to speak like this because of the rest of the thread. So I'm showing. No offense to the thread, because I got a homeboy thread, too. No offense to the thread. I, I get the thread. Example. You're showing vulnerability. You're living off experience. It's the locks right now. That's what I tell my young boys. I'm, I'm living off experience. Right. So Yeah. 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 This was good. And we're winning. Hey. Truly unruly. What was this? Episode nine? Hey man. Are we nine in, Dylan? Episode we're nine, nine in. This is good. Episode ten? We're gonna do the the, the the full solid ten, and it's gonna be about sex. Oh, and gosh. we're gonna talk about sex and is, more sex, and sex <laughs> and more sex, and you guys' sex life and what you guys like and all that okay, shit. Okay, Cal. And we're gonna bring one of your homegirls oh. on, so we're not gonna make it fucking awkward. It's gonna be great. Okay, Cal. And I and, and I have questions already for this. So perfect. Are you are you are are you good, Jess? I don't know. I am not sure. Listen, you know I would never put you in a position you know the to Catholic, make you uncomfortable. It's still, it's still. You're a reformed Catholic like me. Down don't worry. There. It's still down there. Like only I'm gonna that. be open right now with truly unruly. Good we've, for you, we've, we, well, you know, I've expressed that we just need to like the the Catholic part. I see it. I don't really mention it, but we just want to. It's okay to express. And let's talk about this. Just let you. And then we got old positive that's another, Marcus over well, here. There's another, Rise that's like the phoenix and just be you. Oh, right? God. Just, Rise from the. Oh. <laughs> this is why. Amen. Amen. He has it. <laughs> Truly Unruly, episode nine. This is good. Marcus Trufant, Jessica Trufant, my name is Kel. You are blocking my oh, camera. My bad, sorry. <laughs> you can watch us on uh, Marcus Trufant's YouTube channel. Uh, you can watch us on Converge. Every Sunday they drop uh, one of our episodes. Yeah, we're uh, yeah, You can listen to us on uh, Podcast One, Apple Podcast, Spotify. Follow Marcus underscore Trufant on Instagram. Fab Five Mom, Miss, Mrs. Jessica Trufant on Instagram. Mm-hmm. Fab V Same Mom. Thing every, I feel every like week. I have to do that every yeah, episode. Every yeah, week. because people. Someone's yeah, going to yeah. put five, yeah. number five, and not I think know their I Roman did that numerals. A couple times. Yeah. Uh, you can follow me, Radio Kells. Follow uh, the truly, underscore, truly Unruly underscore podcast Instagram page. Remember, you guys, on all of these platforms that you can watch us and listen to us, like, subscribe, and review. Until next time. Yeah, thank you guys. Peace and love.